For this president or any other, a minor injury is major news. Here's NBC's Mike Vaccara. Accidents can and do happen to all of us, even presidents. The difference, there's no place for a modern president to hide. In stitches, the president ices down an injury. Mr. Obama's split lip quickly became news on a slow holiday weekend. But it's only the latest in a long line of presidential mishaps caught on camera. Many are embarrassing. And all are now part of American lore. President Ford fell going down and up the stairs of Air Force One. Jimmy Carter got lightheaded while running a 10K. And Bill Clinton, an avid golfer, fell and injured his knee at the home of tour pro Greg Norman. There was George H.W. Bush throwing up on the Japanese prime minister in Tokyo. Come on. And his son had his share of accidents. George W. Bush choked on a pretzel while watching football, passed out, and landed on his face, leaving a nasty mark. Chew before you swallow. Listen to your mother. Even if they happen in private, news of presidential illnesses and accidents become public sooner rather than later. But before the internet, cable news, or even television, the White House and a complicit press could keep some very big secrets. Like the severity of FDR's polio and his frequent use of a wheelchair. And there was an unwritten rule among the photographers and the press corps that they'd never show him in his wheelchair, never show him with his crutches, never show him really being helped to walk if he couldn't walk on his own. Now, President Obama's split lip is front page news. One journalist who has faced him on the court says his game can be physical. There was one incident I'm thinking of where uh, he essentially body checked a guy in midair uh, and uh, the guy tumbled to the ground. Before yesterday, some suspected that Mr. Obama was getting off easy. I mean, come on, nobody's gonna give the president a hard foul with the Secret Service standing there. But in sports, as in politics, injuries are all just part of the game. Mike Vicara, NBC News, the White House.